Hello everyone, so in the last lesson we looked at baking and limiting reagents with eggs and flour and we slowly introduced ourselves to the limiting reagent. Now we're going to see how we would actually do this in a proper exam or chemistry question. Alright, so here we have it. We are given this reaction, nitrogen plus hydrogen gives us ammonia. You are given 28 grams of N2 and 10 grams of H2. So whenever they give you the grams of both of the starting materials, then you always have to look at the limiting reagent because you need to know which one is going to finish first. Okay, so what we do is we convert both of these into moles first by using N equals 2. M over capital M. And so that's for nitrogen, that's going to be 28 over its molar um, mass, which is two nitrogens. Now these are the masses from the periodic table. And so that's going to be 14 plus 14, which is 28. And so we have one mole of nitrogen. Then we look at the hydrogen where we can use the same formula. And the mass is 10. And the molar mass of hydrogen, well, there's two H's, and so that's 1 plus 1, which is 2. And so 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we have 5 moles of hydrogen. So which one is the limiting reagent? Well, what we do now is we write nitrogen and hydrogen. The molar ratio says that we need 1 to 3. 1 to 3. So for every 1 mole of nitrogen, we would need three moles of hydrogen. Let's see if we have enough hydrogen. More than enough hydrogen. So there's more than enough hydrogen. So that means nitrogen is going to be the limiting one. Okay? There's enough hydrogen. So so we're going to say that nitrogen is limiting. Maybe that's still a little confusing for you. I'm going to do it in a different way now. So we already know that we have one mole of nitrogen, one mole nitrogen, and five moles of hydrogen. So now let's say we would like to use all of this hydrogen. Okay, so we'll put a 5 over here. Then to go get the nitrogen, you would have to divide by 3. So if you say 5 divided by 3, you would need 1.67 moles of nitrogen. Let's see if we have enough. Oh man, nitrogen, there's only one mole of nitrogen. It should have been 1.67. So in both cases, it seems that nitrogen, there isn't enough, or there isn't enough nitrogen. And so nitrogen is our limiting reagent. Okay, now here's where things get interesting. It says determine the mass of NH3 that will be produced. So now we know that we can use these mole ratios, but guys, you must use the limiting reagent. Let me write that. You must use the limiting reagent. The reason is if we, we know that we have one mole of nitrogen, and five moles of hydrogen. If we used five moles of hydrogen, that wouldn't be correct because we're not going to use all of it, remember, because it's, there's too much of it. So it wouldn't be correct to use five moles of hydrogen. However, we are going to use all of the nitrogen because it's the limiting one. So we are going to use one mole. That is why we use the limiting one and not the excess one. Okay, so if we use one mole of nitrogen, then from the balanced equation, we can see that the amount of NH3 would be 2 moles. So we'd say, therefore, 2 moles of NH3 produced. But they want the mass of NH3, so we use N equals to M over M, where the number of moles would be 2. The mass of NH3, well, that's going to be 1 nitrogen plus 3 hydrogen, so 1 nitrogen plus three hydrogens, that's going to be a total of 17 for the for the molar mass. And so then if we go, oh, I should fill this in as 17. And so then if we go work out the mass, we would end up with 34 grams. Okay, let's go to the next question. So here we have the same reaction, but we have, we are given different starting amounts. So let's work out the moles of nitrogen. So that would be um, M over M. And for nitrogen, that would be 30 over its molar mass, which is 28, because there's two nitrogens. And that's going to give us 1.07 moles, 1.07 moles. Now we go work out the nit the hydrogen, sorry. So that's going to be N equals to M over M. And let me just say here that that's nitrogen. Okay, then that's going to be equal to 16 over its molar mass, which is um, 2. And that's going to give us 8 moles. 
Okay, so let's see which one is limiting. So what we do is we write out nitrogen and then hydrogen. The mole ratio from the equation itself is 1 to 3. So we say 1 to 3. Now I'm going to choose one of these numbers, only one of them. Okay, so I'm going to choose, it doesn't matter which one you choose, I'm going to choose nitrogen. So if we use all of the nitrogen, how much hydrogen would we need? Well, the ratio says we should times by 3. So if we times 1.07 by 3, we would need 3.21 moles of hydrogen. Do we have enough hydrogen? More than enough. So it looks like we have enough hydrogen. So it looks like that one's going to be in excess. And the nitrogen is going to be limiting. But let's do it the other way around. Let's say we want to use 8 moles of hydrogen. So we put the 8 over here. And then let's see how much nitrogen we would need. So we divide by 3. And that's going to give us 2.67. Now we go see if we have enough nitrogen. No, we don't. So either way we do it, we can see that the nitrogen doesn't seem to be enough. So the nitrogen is going to be limiting and the hydrogen is going to be in excess. So for the rest of the question, use the limiting one. So you're going to use the nitrogen, okay? because we're not going to use all of the hydrogen. So it wouldn't be correct to use the eight moles because we're not going to use all of it. Some of it's gonna be left over. So instead we're gonna use the limiting one because we're gonna use all of that. I hope that that makes sense. So the question says for number B, determine the mass of NH3 that will be produced. Well, the ratio of nitrogen to NH3 is a one to two ratio. But how much nitrogen do we have? 1.07. And so we multiply by 2, and that's going to give us 2.14. That's how many moles of NH3 we will, we will produce. So therefore, we have 2.14 moles of NH3. And then we can work out the mass by saying N equals to M over capital M, where your moles is 2.14. And then your molar mass is NH3 would be one nitrogen, which is 14, plus three hydrogens. So that's going to be a total of 17. If you then get mass by itself, you'll end up with 36.38 grams of NH3. Next question. Okay, first step is they want us to, to determine the limiting one. So we convert each of them into moles. So for CH4, the moles of CH4, it's going to be mass over its molar mass, which is going to be 32 over its molar mass, which is carbon, 16, plus four hydrogens. I mean, carbon is 12, sorry, plus four hydrogens. And so that's going to be 16. And that's going to give us two moles. Then we look at the moles of oxygen. And that's going to be 40 over two oxygens would be 32. And so if you say 40 divided by 32, we get 1.25 moles. Okay, now what we do is we write out CH4 and oxygen. If we look at the equation, the ratio should be one to two. So I'm gonna say one to two. Then you choose one of these, one of them, okay? I'm gonna choose the two moles of CH4. So two moles of CH4. Then if I just follow this ratio, how would I get the amount of oxygen? Well, I times it by two, and so I would need four moles of oxygen. Then I go look at the oxygen. Oh no, oxygen, there's only 1.25. So there's not enough oxygen. So therefore, oxygen is limiting. I'll show you the other way around. Remember in a test, you only have to do one of the ways. I'm just gonna show you both. So let's say we, we rather use all of the NO2. So we'd put a 1.25 over here. And then to go this way, you divide by two, and that would give us 0 0.625 CH4. Look at this. We've got enough CH4. So it looks like CH4, there's more than enough. So once again, oxygen is limiting. So no matter which way you do it, oxygen's always going to be limiting, okay? Now for the rest of the question, you only use the limiting one. You don't use the excess one. That's very important. You use the limiting one, the one that you're going to use up completely. It now says determine the mass of CO2 that will be produced. Well, if I look at the balanced equation, I can see that the ratio between uh, oxygen 
and CO2 is a 2 to 1 ratio. So I'm going to say oxygen and CO2 is a 2 to 1 ratio. How much oxygen do we have? Well, we have 1.25. So what we do is we see that the ratio is 2 to 1. So we'll divide by 2. And that's going to give us 0 0.625 moles of CO2. We can then work out the mass by using this formula. And so that's going to give us 0 0.625 equals the mass over the molar mass of CO2, which is one carbon and two oxygens, and that's going to give you 44 if you had to go add all that up. And so if you work out the mass, you're going to end up with 27.5 grams of CO2. And the last limiting reagent question for this lesson, here we are given 49 grams of H2SO4 and 20 grams of lithium hydroxide. So we first need to get the moles of each one. I hope this is becoming repetitive. That is my goal, to make this very repetitive so you guys remember how to do this. And so that's going to be 49 grams over the molar mass of H2SO4. So it's two hydrogens, so that's going to be two, plus one sulfur, which is 32, plus four oxygens, which is going to be 16 times four, which is 68. And if you go work out the moles here, you're going to end up with Sorry, that's meant to be 64 for the oxygen. 64, my bad. So that's going to be a half, or 0 0.5 moles of H2SO4. We then look at the moles of the other one, which is lithium hydroxide. And so that's going to give you 20 grams over lithium hydroxide's molar mass, which is lithium, which is 7, plus an oxygen, which is 16, plus one hydrogen, which is 1. And if you work that out, that'll give us 0 0.83 moles of lithium hydroxide. Okay, so now we need to use that and help us identify which one is limiting. So what we now do is we write out their um, ratio, so H2SO4 to lithium hydroxide. From the balanced equation, it should be a 1 to 2 ratio. I then choose one of these. I'm just going to choose the 0 0.5, which is H2SO4. Now, if I follow the ratio, I know that I need to multiply by 2. So what I do is I say 0 0.5 multiplied by 2, which is 1. Which means that we would need 1 mole of lithium hydroxide. Look at lithium hydroxide over here, only 0 0.83. So there is not enough lithium hydroxide. So the lithium hydroxide is limiting. Okay, I'm not going to do the other way around. I'm just going to do it like this. If you did it the other way around, you should still get the fact, or you should still realize that lithium hydroxide is limiting. So for the rest of the question, you use the limiting one, okay? Not the excess one, the limiting one. So they now say determine the mass of H2O that will be produced. So we look at our ratio of lithium hydroxide to H2O, and it's in a 2 to 2 ratio, which is the same as... Um, I'm just going to simplify that, 1 to 1. Now, how much lithium hydroxide do we have? 0 0.83. And because the ratio is 1 to 1, we'll also have 0 0.83 moles of H2O. So we can say um, moles of H2O is 0 0.83. And so we could use N equals to M over capital M to work out the mass of um, water or H2O. And so it's going to be 0 0.83 equals to mass over the molar mass of H2O, which is two hydrogens and one oxygen and so that's going to be 18 and so if we then work out the mass we end up with 14.94 grams of H2O. Guys I know we worked really quickly in this lesson but I hope that you saw the repetition and how to handle these types of questions. Thank you very much for watching.